Sinambre virus is a strain of hantavirus whose primary vector is the deer mouse, scientific name Paramiscus maniculatus. This virus was first observed by scientists in 1993 in the Four Corners region, which is where Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah meet. It is transmitted through aerosolized saliva, urine, and feces. This often occurs when people are cleaning up mouse infestations. It causes hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, which is lethal in approximately 40 to 50 percent of cases. Although deer mice are found throughout the U.S., Sinambre virus is most common in the Southwest. Sinambre virus has flu-like symptoms. What problems can this pose? Yeah, it does have flu-like symptoms, and so people initially sometimes are misdiagnosed or mistreated, which might be one of the reasons why there's such a high fatality rate as well. Um, and so one of the community concerns is, you know, if we can predict when humans might be more at risk, we would be better able to, you know, at least inform healthcare professionals to be on the lookout for human cases. Dr. Kuzmi, what are some methods you are implementing in the field? So currently what we do is we do longitudinal studies. So we're following known deer mice over time to look at how disease is transmitted in those natural populations. And so one of the things we're interested in is how environmental factors change disease transmission in populations or what leads to high um, prevalence in those populations. So that is one thing we're doing. Um, we're also starting to look at, at how different environmental factors may stress mice and how that might lead to virus shedding as well. How can the NASA Earth observations benefit you as the end user? I think they're great because they can give us an idea of where humans were, will maybe be more at risk. So we can look at what habitats might support higher populations of deer mice and and if people have been to those areas or are living in those areas and if we also know how climate change might affect that distribution or we could possibly use those maps to look at what changes in the future might bring. Um, so I think those are really great for predicting where and when humans might be at risk. Landsat 8, Ollie and Tears, and Landsat 5, TM were used to derive land cover classification. Trim data were used for precipitation. SUMI NPP VIRS reflectance data were used to derive normalized difference vegetation index. Terra Astrobase digital elevation model data were used to derive slope, aspect, hillshade, and elevation. These derived variables were used in the Princeton Maximum Entropy Model, which computed weighted values most suitable for the deer mouse population. Fuzzy Logic Toolbar in ArcMap 10.2.1 was then utilized to give the final deer mouse suitable habitat. This map was then used alongside population and poverty data and buffer zones to create the map of probable areas of the Sinambre virus. A suitable habitat map for deer mouse populations was produced, as well as a map showing probability of Sinambre virus transmission to humans. These maps show that Sinambre virus infection is most likely in the ecotone between mouse and human populations, which is rural areas. The data also demonstrated that Sinambre virus infection is more likely in mesic habitats over xeric conditions.